Once, long ago during Baghdad's golden reign, a strip of desert lay in dispute between Baghdad and Basra. It was across this desert that a youth from Basra named Harun journeyed to join his father's caravan, unaware that Allah, in his mysterious ways, had chosen to press upon his brow the thumb of destiny. <laughs> Seek out the true maker of these crimes on old Basra. This torn from my murderer shall one day lead you to vengeance. Go now, my son, and may Allah keep you. No, Kairazan, no. I beg you, Kairazan, leave. Trouble follows you like a faithful dog. You want me to leave? Mm -hmm. Then buy these clothes. No. Then I'll stay until I'm found. Oh. Blossom of spring, I appeal to your justice. These clothes are useless to me. They're not worth one dinner. Somebody's coming. Go hide, quickly. Oh, welcome to the humble shop of Barker's degree. I would like to purchase some clothing, not necessarily new. Fate has guided you properly. I have many bargains. Here is one. Imported cloth, the latest fashion in Baghdad. And the price? For you, it's merely a token. Shall we say, ten dinars? Something tells me the price is too high. Does it not tell you the garment's value? Yes, one dinar. One dinar? For clothes like this? <laughs> You're mad. Your sign, my great friend, speaks of bargains. But not of gifts. You shall have your ten dinars. Here, it's equal. Twenty pounds, radiant asterisks. But For a complete outfit. Hmm. Basra coin. Hmm. Follow me. There are some things that just arrived from Syria. Find what you like and I'll make the bargain. Kyle, son, I implore you. No! Let us 
must ignore this daughter of a horsefly that she might return to her smelly kitchen. Daughter of a horsefly? Why, you misbegotten of a female cow! Don't be blind! This is not your affair. The girl, who is she? Oh, forget about her. She's not for you. How oh, your mouth tightens when there's no talk of money. You are from Basra. What does one call you? Well, what is your name? I am Harun. Son of Bulgar. And your sword? Is it from Basra too? No, I found it in your shop. <laughs> what? It's mine then. It was, till I bought it. Oh, look here, my friend, you don't expect a sword like this. You bought only clothes! You, 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 uh, you, you, it was there by mistake you only. pick what I like. Now look here, my friend, this is, I, I, now look. You wouldn't go back on your word, would you? I agree, never. If you insist, I'll buy it back. No, I like it. I, 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 a bargain's a bargain. Oh. <laughs> Many more such bargains will return me to slavery. Come. Now, I know you saved my life, but uh, let's be reasonable. What's so important about this sword? You did not notice? Let me have it for a moment. Ooh! <laughs> it didn't work now. Could I have been wrong about the sword? You did not expect it to cut heavy iron. Here, you try. I knew it! I... Where did you find this weapon? Oh, right here. Oh. I see it now. I don't understand. The sword works for you. It does not work for me, nor did it for him. It's the magic combination of you and the sword. I recall legends buried in the forgotten past. It's written somewhere. I must search. There's faint writing on the blade. Inscriptions. Pray let me see. Well, speak. What do they reveal? They appear to be in two languages. Both dead. I'll find a way. I am the only one who carries. I have ancient records. You may have found a magic weapon. What glories can be ours? What fortunes won? My Allah. It would be magic indeed that this sword were mine in such a time as this. Destiny has guided us together. I to interpret, you to wield the blade. Alas, good Greek, I do not seek fortune. But I'm here upon a bitter quest. Can you recognize these? My destiny is to seek their meaning. They are strange to me. If in this quest, the mysterious sword could aid me. No, 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 you do not understand. All swords are two edged. This one doubly so. It worked for you, yet it refused my effort. Until we learn more, beware. Do maybe our fate as easily as success. I must take that chance. These legends can wait. My mission must not. For no doom could be greater than to fail in this. I... I... I, I. But there is discontent in Baghdad. Rebellion against you is growing, Khalif of Khalifs. Each day brings news of Basra's violence. Each day sees new attacks against our people. Then route our caravans another way. But the land in question belongs to Baghdad. 
the land in question is only sand and has ever been in doubt. Let Basra keep the sand, Jafar, for war brings only sorrow and violence. Still crimson. Behold the conquering hero subduing a helpless girl. Kairos, are now what mischief inspires you? No mischief of mine, father, but of those in the streets who set loose tongues against you. So, you have been about the city again, against my orders. Look at you. You look like all the jinns of Gehenna. I go among my people only to learn the truth. Is there harm in this? Harm? Is brawling with rabble fit for the princess? Such acts are aid to riot. A princess would have no need of these acts if your idle son did his duty and struck down my father's defamers. My son protects the princess. Protects me? He demolishes me. You are too impetuous. Impetuous fails to describe such conduct. The princess can temper holy laws. Her behaving like a country wench incites the people. Destroys faith in the throne. Opens the door to rebellion. Jafar speaks wisdom, my daughter. I command that the princess Kairozan be confined to the palace. I charge you, Captain Hardy, with full responsibility. As you desire, O Kali. I will have a word private with you, Prince of Believers. If you mean Basra, there will be no war. It was the princess I had in mind. The princess is no longer a child who can be curbed by confinement. True, she has grown into womanhood suddenly. We did not properly perceive it. Perchance the answer might be in marriage. Marriage? For Kairos arm? Tis said that marriage calms the tempestuous nature. He who now watches over her as his charge would cherish her as his wife. Granted, my son is not gifted in speech or manners, but he is of noble birth and is a warrior second to none. Your thought indeed has merit. I shall speak to Kairos arm. Perhaps it shall be arranged. If one son be not wise, let him at least be tall. What is amiss? I incite a riot, you interfere. It was the foolish princess. Enough. It is done. And the Basra is that avails us nothing. What can be gained from a strip of desert waste? What stupidity. It is to undermine the Caliph. To take power in our own hands that I provoke these troubles. Not for a parcel of sand. But I'm wasting words. I'll come out of this. The Caliph will soon consent to your marrying Kairosan. Me marry that snarling infant? Ten thousand devils know. And why not? Should some unfortunate calamity overtake her father, who knows where you might be with her as your wife? She has great riches. And should she also suffer mortal accident? I could even then be Caliph. Your keen perceptions humble me. Caliph of Baghdad. Perhaps Basra conquered. The world in the palm of my hand. Our hands, Tulsa. Our hands. <laughs> such a life upon us. A man I've permitted to roam, to live. We are imprisoned in a harem. Oh, there must be so many lands to see. Lands more beautiful than poets can say, than wonders unheard of in back. Oh, compassionate Allah. How I would like to see for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Why the laughter? Pray, let us all here. We could do with some amusement this day. It is not of my invention. Come, come out with it. Twas told me by the eunuch who heard it from the guard. Who heard it from his captain. Who was so informed by Hadi. Who was told it by Shafar. Who conferred yesterday with the Caliph. Heaven help us, not who, but what? Hadi is to marry the Princess Kairizan. <laughs> what did I hear? It is true, Princess. All know it now. In truth, my father's forsaken me. To be pawned off like, like a sick camel. Seek an appointment with the vizier. Uh, tie your horse with the others and join in line. Your Highness. Princess. Captain Hardy, yeah, Captain, Captain Hardy. 
I have no wife. Sit still. No trouble, Master. Perhaps I can help. And you'll help me miss an audience with a vizier? An audience with a vizier? Why? Because, plague of curiosity, I have a cause to plead for my people. What is the cause? It's not your concern. You do not look ill-treated or starved. Well, that, that is because I recover quickly. You know, steel would lie in the bargain. You know, for one so young, you certainly possess some remarkable talents. Should be cured of them with a horse whip. What will you do with me? I do not know. Yes. Get down. Boy, run along now. Attend to your many mischiefs. But you promised to protect me. Why, uh, you should exercise, boy. You're as soft as a woman. It's a family trait. I'm more like my mother than my father. Here, attach yourself to some other man. One of the less important things to do. We are on the threshold of a great discovery, my friend. You have learned of the sword, then? Yes, but only in part. I believe it is the faithful sword of Damascus that has come into our hand. From the allusions in the ancient records, I have no doubt that the sword is the magic weapon. What are the inscriptions? You know them now? Only the more recent one. Let him who can unsheathe this sword claim any crown as his reward. Claim any crown. Marcus. Magic beyond my dreams. Not so fast, my friend. Perhaps it is not you the inscription refers to. See? I too can unsheathe the sword from its scabbard. 
Yes, but for me, the sword has already proved its magic. It has made me invincible. Invincible? Yes, today I fought a man. And his blade clove my neck. Look, not even a scratch. It is true. This must be the magic sword of Damascus. Immune and invincible. While I hold this sword, no danger can ever harm me. Wait. Let me see. I read something last night. Where did I put it? Here it is. According to this record, the tyrant de Sigri was the last known owner of the sword. He died 300 years ago. How? I'm not certain, but this speaks of his death through rebellion. Then the bones we found... Might have been the tyrants whom the sword of Damascus betrayed. But if it failed to protect de Sigri, yet keeps me from injury, how can we trust it? Until I translate the second legend, we shall not know. Meantime, beware. As we'll do the sword, I can only obey its interpreter. Leave the sword with me. The second tracing proved faint. I have to make another. Until later, friend. Still here, son? Thought you'd be gone by now. Start one, getting your belly full. I couldn't. Uh, this is coin of Basra. It's not acceptable in Baghdad. Why, so it is. So it is. I have an idea. You and I shall dine together. Why, thank you, kind master. And after that, we shall go wenching. Hey! Wenching? Yes, we shall get two pretty wenches, a young one for you and a slightly older one for myself. Uh, kind sir, I have, I have no desire for a wench. You what? I mean, well, as you can see, I'm, I'm still a beardless youth. Aye, a beardless youth, with skin as soft as a woman's cheek. But when I was your age, I had already tasted the nectar that lies in the kiss of a pretty damsel. Well, let us only dine tonight. Next time, I shall bring my own wench. Your own wench? Well, spoken like a man. <laughs> you! Well, I knew you were a girl, but I had no idea. Well, the last time I saw you, the guards were taking you away. If the guards recognize me now, they'll be taking me away again. Then my horse isn't the only thing you've stolen. Stolen? Why, I... Stealing? Who speaks of stealing? It was said in jest. In jest? We shall see what a search will yield. You said you wished to escape. <laughs> that the name is a no end to your folly. So now you think me a fool. Well, what else shall I think when you speak like a fool? Well, perhaps it would have been better if you hadn't found me. Well, perhaps it would. At least I wouldn't be in jail now. Stubborn fool jail is better than you deserve. This is my reward for pitying you. Pity? So now it's pity. When all I asked for was a little protection. Protection? I wouldn't protect you for all the gold in Baghdad. You haven't the brain. Stop screaming if I have more trouble. I won't stop screaming. I won't. What is this right? By heaven, tis a woman. The lash for you, betrayer of women. And I say I will not be far before, like, like a litter of suckling. The lemix 
excuse for ignoring my orders and running away. Avoiding a male clothing with a vast ray enemy. He is not my enemy. The jackal who abducted my betrothed. I am not your betrothed. You can be whipped by any passing traveler. I can defeat any man in the land. It did not seem so when you lay helpless without your sword. It was an accident. Accident? Huh. Father, have I grown so distasteful in your sight that you want me to marry an accident? I can bear this no longer. My son has been dishonored. I shall redeem myself in Kairosan's eyes. Name of the man over let that end be a great joust for my hand. If you should become victor, Holly, let that be your redemption. Only then shall I marry you. I accept. Is this truly your wish? Yes, it is. Let him whom I marry earn my consent. Tis done, then. Since Holly is one of my suitors, he cannot remain my guard. It is true. It would not be proper. I shall choose my own. The Basranian, Harun. Basranian? Oh, I'm sure it will promote sympathy and understanding between Basra and Baghdad. An excellent idea. Let it be so arranged. We keep our promises. Behold him, the camera. Victor over Hani. Rescuer of the Princess Kairosan. I admit that was a mistake. You have important business in Baghdad. I wish to know what it is. It is not for a willful girl. My business is with the Caliph or the Vizier. It isn't now. You see, you fought for the Vizier's son, and you abducted the Caliph's daughter. Abducted her? <laughs> no one in Basra would be gifted with her. It was difficult to preserve your head on your shoulders. I managed, however, to reduce your punishment. To one more suitable to your purpose, no doubt. You shall serve in the guard as my personal attendant. I would rather lose my head. That can be arranged, too, at some other time. Now send your affairs and report in the morning. Didn't I handle him well? Isn't he wonderful? But yes, our princess, handsome. And he will joust for me, too. You will see. You think he can best hide twice? Twice or a thousand times. It was for him that I contrived the joust. I have learned that he carries a magic weapon. The invincible sword of Damascus. A magic sword? You are certain? I. And for certain, the prize goose is now beyond your selfish grasp. So that, then, is how I was beaten. The treacherous dog is no one to be trusted. You must help me plan some action to foil the scheme. And help you to wed Kyrazan. Marriage to her is only a convenience. When I take the throne, shall I not have beside me the woman of my choice? If your words were in truth from your heart. You must help me obtain the magic weapon. And if I do? You shall not regret it. I swear. What foolishness is this? This foolishness has gained me useful information. The Basranian defeated me with a magic sword. In truth, a magic sword? Or superstitious rumor? Do not always brand me stupid. I've seen the sword in action. Unless I can acquire it, we may lose the joust. Leave such matters to me, tall son. They cannot be attacked with the clumsiness of a bull, but rather handled with the cunning of a serpent. Being in the palace may suit your purpose better. Look at this. I've etched the first inscription here so that your children, your grandchildren... I shall have no children. Mm. Have you then given up the purchase of trinkets? Having learned of women's mischief, yes. But for such mischief, the race would soon end. Well, I refuse to share it. You might as easily refuse the embrace of a bois constrictor, which has you in its grasp. It is not the clutch of a reckless woman like the embrace of a snake. From the day of our birth, we're ruled by their tyranny. They beat us into dull submission when we're small and curious, and then beat us in turn when we display no wit. We submit, helpless, helpless, awaiting manhood. And then what happens? A woman crosses your path. Pretending helplessness, she traps you to guard her, marry her, provide for her. The whole ghastly tyranny of childhood repeats itself. Harun, spoken like a man, but a very <laughs> young man. Uh-uh. Well, must I cross through the mud? Don't drop anything, clumsy. My experience as a mule is limited. I should say your experience as anything is limited. Is this where we start? These are my friends. Achia! 
Now you see why I go through the city to the dismay of my father and the vizier. Here, you see, I've not forgotten you. Take this and buy that child about which we spoke before. Is he your husband? No, my dear, he's not. Then why does he stare at you like that? I don't think he likes me. Oh, I think he does. He is just playing a game. Well, we have many other places to visit. Hear, oh, true believers. Tis my will as Caliph of Baghdad that a joust will be held to honor the Princess Kairuzan. To the victor of this tourney will be given in marriage the hand of Kairuzan. <laughs> More princes, a portrait to remember this day. It is gratifying to learn that women exist who would permit themselves to be auctioned off for the price of a slit throat. No doubt such a savage spectacle shall provide better amusement for the princess than my melancholy presence. It will indeed, most stubborn of jackasses. And if any throats are to be slit beyond repair, pray all that it could be yours. Princess! Hey. I've seen this past hour, I shall have no need of the magic sword. Let not your might blind you to reality. Be not concerned, my father shall see to her room. But why your father? Why can't we act alone? Such words are treason. Does treason exist among traitors? But for me, you would be ignorant of Kairazan's scheme. I trust in your remembrance of it when your day of triumph dawns. When victory makes me caliph, it shall crown you also. I rejoice at these words. For I should dislike to gain the Caliph's ear before the tourney is ever held. Did I perceive threat in the Hera Winch's words? She will hold her tongue as long as she trusts my purpose. After the tourney, she will matter no longer. At last, your brain competes with your muscle. Now, I have something to show you. A sword. Patience. It is but a perfect copy of the magic weapon. The serpent has devised a plan, O father of Cunning. My son. You have neglected to honor properly our Australian guest. Tonight you shall be host at a party in his honor.
looking for you, but I didn't expect to find you sobbing with drink. I don't understand. I drank no wine. I smoked only a little. For the car. We must be seen here. Come, help me return. Have you seen those that compete for my hand? Is that your own making? Are there no men left in Islam? What are those that come to joust? They are illustrious princes who will provide you with a noble marriage. A maid betrothed needs more than just nobility to fulfill her dreams. Why do not others come for it? Especially those who have proven their ability to win. Perhaps such men are not of noble birth to aspire to a princess. Then such men are fools. For a princess knows that nobility does not come by birth. Yet a man would be less than a man if he bestowed none but himself upon a princess. And less a man if he deny her desire. Would you wish to marry a commoner? I would wish for a man to take what is his. The grip of the boa is tightening. She is the fairest of all the fair of Islam. She's maybe the happiest of men. And yet, save time the most miserable. Only a woman can create such an improbable condition in a man. Come here and see what I have. And what is wrong with women? Do they not save us from hunger and danger when we are young? Do they not teach us good from evil? Do they not bear our children, serve our needs, weaken our sorrow, and exult in our joy? <laughs> Heaven is indeed merciful to have devised such a glorious fate. Spoken like a man, but a much older man. I must be the and the just. Having learned the truth, I cannot live without her. Harun, if I had a son, he would have been one such as you. Yet I must say to you, do not just. Why? Does not the sword promise a crown as reward? I have at last translated the second legend. Here it is. My true reward shall given be from grave of stone mysteriously. It chills my blood. I will not forsake Karazan because of that. I warn you, change your course from this to the princess now, and the sword may fail you. I came here on a mission which led me to the sword, and from the sword to her, each cause equally mine, and by heaven when that job begins, I shall be there. Harun is added on the list. Have you tested the magic weapon? It seems like any other sword to me. Now, Haki, should this vast radium triumph, all will be ruined. Should the magic sword not work, it is enough, he is without it. Harrison, come. The infant grows more comely. Give me not fresh irritation. When you are Kavi, you shall have a carpet of me. You jest, Your Excellency. My scorn to carry to victory. Hark ye, hark ye, by proclamation of the Caliph. This joust shall be held in accordance with the age old traditions of ancient Persia. Each contestant will first choose a color which will determine the order of his fighting. After the colors are chosen, each contestant will return to his tent to await commencement of the joust.
enter the ring as his chosen color is drawn and raised aloft. All contestants will buy simultaneously. The last man remaining on his horse to claim the hand of Princess Kairosan. cheer for your happiness. Acknowledge them with happiness. Parazon, we have given our word. Stand by it. my princess. There was never a sight more regal than Hadi signing the parchment with which to claim his bride. Tis best you have not seen him since the job. Hadi's yearning will be even greater when he beholds you beneath the bridal veil. What happened, Marcus? What happened? They have to sort you better than you that your destiny was not with Kairosan. Yet the sword itself seemed to lead me to her. Or perhaps it only appeared so. Harun, have you forgotten the cause which brought you here? In this, the sword was with you. No, I've not forgotten. I shall pursue my mission. Marcus! Marcus! The inscriptions on the blade, they're gone. Gone? It's impossible. What black magic is this? I spoke of little Kifa. I was drunk without drinking. I dreamed of her taking it, yet awoke mysteriously before her. What are you saying? This is why I lost. We've been robbed of the real sword. But Kainzen? I cannot believe it. I'll soon find out. Wait here for me, Farkas. I shall learn if she's guilty. She said your husband will steal these from your fingers to assure the early coming of an heir. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Behold how Hattie the Fearless must be 
carry to the raptures of his bride. <laughs> Think how my bride's rapture increases as I keep her waiting. Oh, wow. <laughs> Way. Oh, Way. Why have I not been grabbed a small share of your trial? Would you have me leave my friends at my wedding feast to carouse with my wife's maid? But for your wife's maid, you would not celebrate today. I am certain my father will see to it that you are rewarded for your services. Come, Lynch. Be gone from my chambers before I summon the guard! <laughs> There's not in my heart to join him, father. I cannot. You are wed to him, Kairazan. You cannot betray your trust. Why didn't I have room in the joust? I felt so secure in that promise. You must forget that passing fancy, daughter. Remember, your life belongs to the people. Your marriage to Hardy is important to the welfare of Baghdad. You have always been given to much courage. Use it now as a woman. You. It is not from Kairazan. It was Jafar and Hadi who drugged you. And I'll reward you. Sword! can unsheathe this sword, claim any crown as his reward. I am indeed in the Almighty's favor, a most fortunate circumstance. You wish to meddle in Kairozan's life? Your wish shall be fully granted. You will, in truth, be executed for the murders of the Caliph and the Princess. No one could see more prominence than that. An enemy from Basra, caught in the palace, the royal family murdered. Think how bad Dad will rise to avenge such murder with bloody destruction against your homeland. This is how you repay my faith and my trust. Arrest him!
Okay, quickly. Another ball. They must be here somewhere. Seek them out. Seems they've given their souls to Allah. Back to the palace. Certain of their fate. I have no doubt, illustrious one. After our volley, no one survived. <laughs> Long live Kali Party! Yay! Whose courageous rule shall raise Baghdad's glories to unfreed of splendors. Go forth and proclaim his reign. Rouse the people round Hardy's name. Persuade them in devotion to our cause. The harvest of our efforts now begins. Basra shall be only our first conquest. My treasury will bulge when Baghdad's new armies march forth. Our treasury. <laughs> Does good fortune set a young Basra fool here with a sword to reward us for the crown? Let him who can unsheathe this sword claim any crown. <sighs> no. No! This can't be so! Tis but a horrible dream! Fool, help me! Uh, 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 to no avail. I cannot move with us. We must. Do you not grasp the prophecy? We cannot claim the throne, so first we wrest the sword from this accursed chief. Uh, I have a scheme and murder to be foiled by that piece of trash. Cut if you are. Cut if you remain. Bring magicians, strongmen, fakers, thieves. Ten thousand dinars to the one who can sheathe the sword. There. The city is in a turmoil. It is said that the Caliph and Kairosan were murdered by Harun, and he too was slain while escaping. Hadi has claimed the throne and prepares to attack Basra. What is the story? It is still in the wall. None can move it. The second prophecy, Graver Stone. I must get to the story. Do not trust that prophecy of doom. They did not fail me in their challenge, remember? Please. It's too dangerous to you alone. Why not let me arouse the loyal among my people? No, the patrols will discover you. We must trust the sword. It has led me to Jafar and the amulets I follow. Then wait for tonight. Go to Bakhamra. I'll tell you how. We'll need disguises, Marcus. <laughs> we? You would not deserve me now. I, yeah, 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 yeah. The army is in readiness to move on Basra. The men grow impatient. Take him away. Bring on another. There's enough. Damn, a wolf is a crazy disorder than a sheath.
Never be yours. Jafar is not the fortune. Look yonder. I must try it. Come what may. Go to the Princess Becoming. I'll tell you where. Perhaps you will allow poor grief, but I'm a thief. You are no killer of soldiers. Could be. Could be. Perhaps they are alive. Fools return! 
search his house. Meantime, take him to the torture chamber. I will question him later. The rat may loosen his tongue. What figure is this? The Bahrainian murderer! Ah, ah, let him go!